He is the detail-loving professor who managed one of the most complex bank restructurings in history. He famously offered to accept a wage of only a dollar until the bank returned to profitability. Our special award for Global Business Leader of the Year is Vikram Pandit of Citibank. Pramit Zaveri, the CEO of City India, will accept the award on his behalf. Vikram Pandit will be joining us from a video link in New York. Well, it's been described as one of the toughest banking jobs in history. Question to Mr. Pandit. Has it been tough and what made you take it up? Obviously, leading city through one of the worst economic climates in history has certainly been challenging, but it also has been incredibly gratifying. I took the position because I believe in city's purpose, connecting clients with the world, and helping customers build their financial futures. And at that point, I was also excited by the mission at hand to rebuild, restructure, and reposition the world's leading financial company not only for what we were going through, but for the future. The last two years have been difficult at times, but I've had the privilege of working with an incredible management team and 259,000 talented colleagues around the world. Together, we made tremendous progress, and I'm really looking forward to our shared future. What's your vision for City's future in India? Well, it is clear that India has a special place in my heart, not only because of my heritage, but I'm also very proud of the fact that City has been in India for more than 100 years. We started in Kolkata in 1902, and in many ways, India is home. We've got a strong franchise in India, and we're looking forward to being part of India's growth. And to do that, we will continue to serve our clients, from helping India's top global corporations to supporting the growth ambitions of its small and mid-sized enterprises to enabling individuals and households, we will play a major role in India's economic future. And we'll continue to emphasize microfinance and support India's priorities, particularly in the area of financial inclusion and financial education. India will continue to grow for a long time to come and we will grow with India. We'll particularly excel at connecting the world to India and India to the world. And what are your top priorities with City? My number one priority and the goal I set out to reach when I became CEO has been to lead City to sustain profitability. We have certainly made great progress and the result of the last two quarters have shown that, but there is much more to be done. We have started to shift our focus to sustainable growth. We'll continue to focus on being a global bank. As I said before, that's in our DNA. That's what we do best. We will continue to put our customers' interests first, and we will help local companies become global, and global companies succeed locally. And we'll continue to innovate and find new ways to serve our clients. As globalization accelerates, we have a very big role to play. And lastly, do you, like others, remain bullish on the Indian economy? Well, I believe India is one of the world's most promising economies. And that's not a new perspective. It's been my perspective for quite a while. And in the wake of the crisis, India's financial sector has demonstrated stability and resilience and the economy continues the growth trend that was evident prior to the downturn. India's position of strength makes it a desirable market for the world's multinationals, and I can personally attest to our clients' desire to be here. And I believe this interest can help promote needed infrastructure investment that creates not only jobs but also drives growth. We'll continue to do our part and bring foreign investors to India and provide our Indian clients with access to markets and financing. Thank you for sharing your thoughts.